Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living in return with having. We don't do this by lying, stealing, and cheating people out of the rights to their computers. Law enforcement like to engage other children who work in companies to play games. They also like to use colloquial implants to use a whisper mode to harm people. I can tell you this, but you won't believe me. You think it's all about uh, the Stark Industries and what they did to Tony Stark in the Iron Man series, and it was all a lie, and there's nothing like that in the military. Is that why they sent things and they put set the setting of the events in the Middle East? I mean, let's really be real. Don't we learn a lot from the movies today? When I'm walking through the community, I expect to be able to walk across a major thoroughfare at Baytown Drive and Prospect Avenue without having some old woman shouting profanity at me. Don't you? I literally can't walk through that intersection because there's a panhandler that sits there. And I've communicated that she was a caustic, that she stole things from me, and no police officer, no female officer, no male officer did their job for me. And they didn't do their job for me, not because I didn't report it. I asked Best Buy to handle it. I asked Ross to handle it. I asked several companies that have people who walk from that area, from bus stops and other places that they shop, to shop at their stores to handle it. But today, when I was walking where the Lord led me to walk, it was fascinating that the young man who probably was monkeying around with my computer when I was sitting outside the Verizon store to do something a little bit later came out that back door to take a good look at me. Let me tell you, I have his car, I have his plate, and we're going to make sure he gets reviewed from the military standpoint. Because if his attitude was he had the right to shut down my computer, which is precisely what has happened twice when I've been around their company at early morning hours or late evening hours when there's nobody else out there but me and a few paltry employees, then we have a real problem today. What was interesting is that I was about to record the other end of Verizon on the back door, and just as I started to do it, I got this whisper of, shut this thing down. And I shouldn't have listened to that, because the minute that I did that, out the back door walked a young, blonde-haired employee. That would have proved the ping game is among us. That would have proved that young, white males like to play games, either on behalf of police or in the stead of police, or maybe that police don't even know or don't even care. You see, they can pick anybody they want to harass. But since I traveled the Midwest in a vehicle that was fully paid for by my company and by the generosity of a family member who basically is no longer with me, it's amazing what people will do to think that they have rights over you.